Good morning, everybody. Old Cappy Boy here, and we got another energy drink for you. It is the Summer Edition 2023 Red Bull. It's in a blue can, but it's a little bit different than the other blue Red Bull. It's a little bit softer, I think, a little bit more matte in the blue. You put them both together, which I don't. I don't have the actual blue. That one's definitely a little bit more shiny and darker blue. Anyway, the flavor this year is Juneberry, artificially flavored. What is Juneberry? Well, Juneberry is known by a few things, but known as mostly wild plum or sugar plum. So I like to imagine the executives of Red Bull were sitting in their office in um, Austria, and they're like, what shall we do make next? And the one guy's like, ich weiß nicht. And then the other guy who's watching like F1 racing, he's not even paying attention to the meeting. He's just like, oh, yes, we're winning. And then the last guy, he's on his laptop listening to some Tchaikovsky. And then Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies come on. He's like, I got an idea. Juneberry. It's also known as Sugar Plum. And that's how this flavor was created. Don't You don't have to check in on that. You don't need to call Red Bull's head office. You don't need to say, hey, was this guy, Chaz, he said uh, this is how it happened. Nope. Nope. That's true. 100%. I know it. <laughs> uh, let's read this stuff here. Red Bull, the summer edition, the taste of Juneberry, artificially flavored, the wings of Red Bull. Red Bull is appreciated worldwide by top athletes, busy professionals, college students, and travelers on long journeys. That's it. Everybody else doesn't like Red Bull. Uh, <laughs> nutrition facts. Serving size is a can, 160 calories, 0 grams fat, 125 milligrams of sodium, 40 grams of total carbs, 38 grams of sugar. Includes 38 grams of added sugar. 76% of your daily in sugar intake in this little can here. It's about 12 fluid ounces, right? Yep. Uh, 0 grams of protein. Then we got percentages of niacin, 140. 120% uh, of B12. 350 of B6 and 70 pantonic acid. Ingredients include carbonated water, sugar, glucose, citric acid, taurines, sodium citrate, natural and artificial flavors. Caffeine, color, just color. Yep, that's that's my favorite ingredient is color. Uh, niacinamide, pyridoxine, hydrochloride, at least that's what I think the HCL is standing for anyway. Uh, calcium pantotate, blue one, blue one and color, okay. And B12, vitamin B12. Yeah, I don't, I don't really. Know. It's vague coloring. Like I don't, I don't get that at all. And then blue one, which is obviously a food dye. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. This was um made in Switzerland, so I guess they're distributed by Red Bull in Santa Monica, California, but made in Switzerland for a company that is located in Austria. Worldwide, except I didn't like talk about asia or australia or anything there anyway let's pour it in juneberry it's gonna be blue purplish maybe i don't know it's kind of vague the color color added so it's like a i mean i would call this purple myself it's like this is like kind of what i expected like a grape looking color no scent from a few feet away that I am. Let's see up close. It's definitely kind of like a rich, earthy berry kind of scent. And a little bit of musky, actually. Like, kind of like, ugh. Mm, let's sip. That might just be the glass, to be honest, though. Hmm... It's not very sweet. Like, there's sweet aspects to it, but it's very rich, like, earthy-style taste. It's not quite grape. It's not quite blueberry. And it's not quite plum, either. But it has all those aspects like, there's little, like, it feels like when you're in, like, you see, like, starships going into warp speed, and, like, all the stars and the asteroids and stuff are flying by. It's kind of like the flavor is the starship going past all those kind of aspects of those kind of flavors, like grape, blueberry, plum, what have you. 
boysenberry. <laughs> There's an acidicness to it as well, but not like, not so much like um, a citrus fruit, but like, it's weird because you feel like it would be associated with it by a um, a citrus fruit, but it's not either. I guess they did a good job because I've never had a June berry before or sugar plum or whatever. I've never tasted anything like that, so if that's what they're trying to go for hey, hats off to them, because it's, like, unique enough that it's not any of the flavors I've kind of said it tastes like. It's just, like, close to all of them. Also, it's a little bit watery, too. Like, I feel like it's not that strong. <laughs> but I can totally taste the flavors it has. It's just there's not a ton going... There's a ton going on, but none of them are, like, really stepping up to the plate and trying to, you know, claim the prize here. It's perplexing. It really is. I'm, just, I'm, I'm like, I have to think about it. Like, what am I tasting? If you were just sipping on this and without really thinking about what flavor it is, you could say it probably tastes more like grape. And that's probably, like, the association. If I had to, like, gun to my head, what flavor do you think this tastes like? I would say grape. That's probably the closest thing, but it's a lot more going on here. It's very intricate. Is it my favorite Red Bull flavor? Not quite. Not quite. Um, what I really would like is... It to be just a tiny bit stronger and, like, an ounce more refreshing, I guess. Because kind of watery, not very sweet, not very earthy, you know. It's in, like, purgatory, we'll say. <laughs> it's in, like, a, it's a flavor purgatory, but it has a lot of medley of it. It's not so much that it's super flavorful, but it has aspects to be super flavorful. It's just missing that next step. I think you wouldn't be too miffed if you tried this. You would probably appreciate its uniqueness in that regard. Maybe some people might say it tastes too close to the blue version, like the blue edition, and that would be fair as well. Maybe you bought this instead of the blue edition and you didn't even notice, which also, I'd be like, that's fair. But I kind of feel like there's enough between it all that it's not exactly the blue edition, which I'll give the uh, folks at Red Bull some credit. You made something a little bit, you know, different. Is it taste like summer? I don't know. Do you consider blueberry, grape, whatever, summer flavors? I, I don't really, that's not really my kind of thing, but at least it's not coconut this year. So yeah, I'm going to give Juneberry, I'll give Juneberry... I'll give Jim Barry like the guy who comes in fifth in the F1 race, I guess, out of red. I mean, he he still makes points, but it's not like top three. It's still pretty all right. 